everyone thank you for tuning in just finished tonight's live stream convo and i'm doing a surprise food video for you tonight and uh, the other half right here see the other half is making homemade battered fish and we're having chips now i'm going to tell i'm going to ask her what she's put into this because she actually makes a damn good batter all right so we got some that's a fish fillets here. We've got four of them at a dollar twenty-five each, marked down from five bucks, which is really good. And then we have the batter. Now, she's not going to she's not going to be on camera, but she is going to say what she's put in it. All right. So what's in it? Flour. All right. So we've got flour. Milk. Milk. A bit of salt. A bit of salt. And whatever else I have in the cupboard. And a whole lot of other stuff that she's put in it from the cupboard, right? Now, what milk have you used? Low fat. Okay, so it's low fat milk, so light milk, because we, we have two different milks here. I'm on the full cream, she's on the light. So we have light milk, flour, a bit of salt, and some other stuff. The fish is in there. Oh, wow. So you can see the fish in there. All right. Oh, aha. All right, and then we're going to pan fry it. Assuming we can stop the thing spitting. Oh, I just got one in the guts. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to stand back here while she does this. So you can see here. Is that one piece or two piece in there? One. Where's the other one? Oh. No, two pieces. Oh, two pieces. One out okay. Time. So we've got two pieces in here of barra. Well, what's it called? Bassa fillets. Sorry. Bassa fillets. Been soaking in the batter for about what? About half an hour? No. No? How long? I just put it in. Oh, so she's just put it in. Okay. So cooking it on a eh, medium high heat. So I thought I'd do a surprise food video for you for this one. The other thing too, we've got the chips. And one very important thing you have to have, or at least old mate has to have when it comes to fish and chips, the very important lemon. So we let these fry away for, uh, mm. she doesn't know. Whenever they're cooked. Whenever they're cooked, there we go. So. There we go. All right, so we'll come back once these are a little bit more cooked. All right, so we're cooking away nicely. There's a little bit of oil in the pan. Tiny bit. Tiny bit of oil in the pan. Just a little bit of just generic canola oil. I'd move. I plan on moving. Oh. It looks like a pancake. Wow! Good grief. There we go. Bass is alright. It's not bad. I'm a, I prefer flake, generically speaking. The bass is alright. It looks like a pancake. Anyway, come back when they're cooked a little bit more. Talk about making a bit of an experiment. Um. The flour that she's used is not just plain flour. She's picked up a recipe where it's suggested to use self-raising flour, which is the reason they sort of look like a bit like a pancake. Anyway, we'll cook them a bit more. Okay, well, we're getting there. Slowly. But you gotta have lemon if you're having fish and chips. That is a must. I'll have a few viewers who will try this one out. So it's self-raising flour, low-fat milk, a bit of salt, and 
random yeah. herbs and spices that we had in the cupboard. Yeah. What, just herbs, is it? Yeah, we can put whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, that didn't flip so well. Oh, it's falling apart. That's just a tunnel to the mine. Sorry? That's just a tunnel to the mine. It's below the edge. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Well, we will uh, come back when a little bit more cooked. Alright, so, I'm just seeing whether they're cooked or not. What do we reckon? Careful. Yeah. They're cooked. Alright. You better check mine. That is yours. Oh. That's yours. Oh. That's yours. That's yours. That's oh, mine. Oh, God. I'm going to be eating fish till the cows come home. Yeah. Yep. They're I like cooked. It when it's nice. Okay. So, next thing to do is serve up. Alright. So, it even looks like fish and chips, this, doesn't it? So, now we'll just serve up, and we'll give it the old, the Backyard Tech Channel taste test. Good grief. Okay. So now, oh, hang on, I'm going to need another plate to cut the onion. Hang on, uh, onion? No, lemon. All right, cut the lemon up. Now the half just showed me how to make the lemon more juicy. We'll get the pips out of it, obviously. I don't want you to grow into a lemon tree. Oh, all right. I'll get her to take the camera while I give this the taste test. I'll have it over me chips too, doll. Oh, <laughs> she's flooded it. Okay. Get out a knife and fork. Just don't put your finger over the microphone. Okay, here we go. Give this the... Oh, jeez, it smells good. You normally you wouldn't eat with a knife and fork, but just for the taste test, I'm going to. Mm. That is good. That is absolutely beautiful. So there you are. Self-raising flour, white milk, herbs and spices, bit of salt, and it is absolutely brilliant. And the difference between the two. <laughs> Sorry? What? And the difference between the two. What two? Meals. Oh, that's what the other half's eating. That's her entire dinner. And look at old mates. An absolute dead set plateful. <laughs> there we are, guys. Food video. Enjoy your Wednesday, guys. Cheers.